topic today is three magic keys to successful presentations. The ability to speak well and clearly present information can distinguish a person as a leader who's ready for advancement in their professional life. Please help me in welcoming Charles Green III. From this, I want you to take away audience, preparation, and practice are the three magic keys to a successful presentation. Audience. It's important that you know your audience and that you meet your audience and that you engage your audience. Woody Allen said that 80% of success is showing up. I believe that in presenting, 80% of success is knowing your audience. Preparing your information with an appropriate structure. Knowing your message and then preparing that message in the most appropriate way so that it's clear and memorable. Practice. It's essential if you want to improve. The key is putting them all together. There will be questions that come up that will always come up when you present certain information. You, as a presenter, should always have an answer ready for those expected and anticipated questions. You need to engage your audience with more than just your words. Words are great. But you want to make eye contact with people. You want to get that engagement. It helps to create a connection. You need to structure your message so that it's clear and memorable. Practice is essential. As I said, these things are like a three-legged <coughs> stool. Take away one, the stool does not stand. And if you really want to practice well, you have to videotape yourself. You have to see yourself for what you actually do when you present. Find out what your audience's top concerns are and then answer those concerns either in your presentation or be ready for them in your Q&A. Not end your presentation, your formal presentation, with the Q&A. Have your Q&A, let all the questions come, and then have a short summation of your, speaking of hand movements, do what's comfortable for you but know that you're doing them. You should not script everything out word for word, but you could start in a comfortable place of having three by five cards. And on every three by five card, you write a topic. A part of all presentations, I believe, it is a little bit of theater. It's a little bit of improv. The only way that you can develop this is by practice. If you can stand up and speak your message, you'll move yourself light years ahead of everyone else.